I'm back. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling ch 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 alive. Back to my crazy self. Mm -hmm. So it's been a while, and I'm back to give you guys an update on everything that's been going on in my life. Dang, it's hot up in here. I need to crack the window. I got a new place, by the way. So I should give you guys the once over. It's kind of dirty in here, but. Just pretend that you don't notice the mess. My room is now really, 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 really big, which is nice. And I have a vanity, which is all tore up. My closet, my dirty, super dirty bathroom. I'm not even gonna turn the light on up in there. That's kinda nice. <laughs> I wonder if these people can see me undressing because I don't have curtains up and yeah, don't really care about all that. I doubt they can see me. I'm on the sixth floor. Okay, right after I was like, oh, no one can see me undressing in the window. I mean, walking around buck naked. <laughs> when I was holding the camera, this little girl was like, Anya. So maybe people can see me. I don't know. Yes, find out. Anyway, so I just want to give you guys an update. It's been two years since I've been in Korea. I was supposed to make this video back in September. September 15th was my two year mark. Um, but as many of you may know from my blog, I was super, super depressed. And I think that depression was just, not just, I know not just, but part of a phase of culture shock and um, I made a video about culture shock that not many of you guys watch I'm just kidding <laughs> but in the video you know we talk about the different phases of culture shock and one of those phases is depression and I was just in a serious funk I was gonna delete my blog I was gonna delete my vlog I didn't want to make videos anymore I felt like all the videos I, I was making was so negative like there are like nothing positive to say for me to say about Korea it's not that like I hated Korea I didn't want to be here I was just going through like a really tough time I didn't even want to make videos I felt like all my videos are gonna be like tainted with like I don't know with my black perception and I don't mean black because I'm black I mean black is in like dark <laughs> whatever there's no covering from that anyway so I'm here I'm back I'm feeling much better a lot of you guys wrote to me gave me some good advice told me not to delete delete my blog to keep it and that this would pass and it did it's passed for now I'm sure it'll come back um, if you're from California or Florida or a really really sunny place I think winters here the lack of sunshine, the smog, all of that is just something you don't think about and like it's something you definitely, definitely, definitely have to take in. I had to get like vitamin D pills, is that it? Sunny D? Yeah. I had to get like vitamin D pills to help me out and anyway, that's another story I'll talk about some other time but I'm feeling back, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling ch I want to give an update about what's going on in my life where I already covered that freaking depression that I went through and I want to make vlogs and I want to do anything but seriously eat sleep and poop that's about all I really could do and at times I didn't even eat and I got all skinny so like there there came a point where like I didn't even want to eat Korean food like there was nothing to poop so I just stayed in bed and I don't know but I'm feeling good I'm feeling better I'm feeling like Hmm, I could do this. So what's next for me? Like, am I going to stay in Korea? Um, if you follow my blog, you know that I'm trying to move to Germany. I want to get my master's so I can teach like uh, junior college history and then eventually 
kind of move up from there. Hopefully land a sweet uni job teaching history. I love history. I can't stand English. I hate English. I'm not even good at English. Like, I like writing stories, but that's literature and that's maybe creative writing and something totally different and just... I'm so worried that the music you guys are going to I can't hear because of the background music too loud. The saying career right now is not something that I think I'm going to do for a third year. I really like Korea and even though I had that rough period of like, hmm, I don't know, six months, um, there's something about Korea that I just didn't want to leave. I didn't want to give up on it. I, you know, I, w I wanted to make it work. and. Now I'm feeling good, I'm feeling optimistic, I'm feeling like I could stay here another year. But I'm so afraid that that period, that depression may come back. And honestly, a part of it is linked to being here. And some things that, not I experienced directly, but like things that I've noticed and that I just, I don't know, kind of mess with the psyche. I feel like, I don't want to wear it out, you know, like Korea is really great. This is my second time. I feel like it's time to do some new things. It's time to try something new and I don't know, spread my wings. Ah! Speaking of doing new things, um, I know that was the gnarliest, ugliest face I just made. But I don't care. Make them all the time. So Drama Fever, they contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in hosting a street style fashion vlog. And I said yes. Um, I kind of, I love doing interviews as you guys can't tell. Um, if, if you can't tell, I love doing interviews. So just going around Seoul, different places with different themes and interviewing people about what they're wearing. It's going to air every Tuesday on the Drama Fever YouTube uh, channel but I'll probably post it on my blog or my vlog also so I hope you guys really tune in for that I asked my friend Kevin if you guys remember him he was in the Borame Park video and the Bondegi video where we ate those smaller worms mm, they were totally disgusting um so I asked him if he would help me with that so we're doing it together and so far it's been a blast like we've already filmed uh, the second episode and we'll be filming the third episode this Saturday so um, I really 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 hope that we can bring something good for you guys and that you're gonna enjoy it mm. it really to be honest that's it winter's coming and once winter comes I'm probably gonna stay in my house I don't even plan on going out because it is so dang cold here Ugh. And not just that it's cold here, but I don't know how to dress for cold weather. I'm from Southern California. I still wear a tank top under a blazer in freaking fall and in winter, <laughs> which is really pathetic. I'm still with the same school. I love my school. I'm going to make a video on the importance of getting a good school. Because let me tell you something. If you come over here and you get a busted school, don't rush to Korea. Please don't rush to Korea. Like... I mean, yeah, they're cutting jobs, and yeah, it's getting really competitive, and yeah, they're making more requirements for you to get here, and yeah, they are making it a little bit harder, but you can still get here. Please don't rush to Korea. Don't get in a situation where, like, you end up with a really terrible job, because that's your experience right there. Like, half of your experience is going to come from getting a good job, you know? That's going to make you feel confident. It's going to make you feel comfortable. It's going to make you feel secure. And all those other words I can't think of right now is so important to take your time. Please don't jump at the first thing. Even though I jumped at the first thing and got lucky. But, you know, I did a little Google search for the last teacher that worked here before I came. And he gave me all the, the details and everything like that, but take your time. Anyway, I really don't have much to say. You know, I just wanted to come on here, let you guys know that I'm still alive. I'm thinking of you. I wanna thank you, all my old followers. I'd love to like 
freaking list your names out but you know I'm too lazy I'm not gonna do that <laughs> but I just want to give you a big shout out thank you for sticking with me thank you for sticking by thank you for every time you guys give me a jingle hey where are you we miss you can you make a video that really motivates me you know that really makes me want to make videos and I really want to thank you I got a slew of freaking new followers I get ready to be disappointed because I only make a video like once every month but like thanks anyways for, <laughs> for signing on and um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make some more videos for you guys because I miss talking to you guys and yeah I miss editing and making videos and I'm making videos once a week for, for drama fever you know and I hope this update wasn't boring because I'm not putting any animations in because the, the next videos that I do I will put in my little stupid animations and all that kind of stuff and hopefully I'll have a story and not just sitting here babbling about nothing but really I just came on to tell you guys that I'm still alive and thank you so much for your support and your encouragement and this is just basically a plug for the new video series that's coming out. Thank you.